welcome back. Big Crash Bandicoot. Press start to begin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the Black Shadow, and last time, folks, we completed the game. Bizarre for that, we managed to defeat the evil Neo Cortex and his even more evil mask. So Oogum and Flop fought their hands for domination. Unfortunately, however, there's still a big selection of uh, gems and relics which uh, the pair are equally interested in. So we're going to have to look at uh, dealing with some of them, I fancy. You see, they're only 54% of the game are officially complete. Which still isn't too bad, considering I didn't really replay many stages at all. So yeah, so we've just beaten uh, Cortex here. So as I alluded to at the end of the last video, folks, although we've beaten the game, there's still quite a variety of uh, stages um, around. Uh, some hidden, some very well hidden. Um, and that is probably the first thing that I'll be looking to open up um, and uh, get stuck into as soon as I can, folks. Now, to do this, what we're going to need to do is we need to get hold of some relics. Let's have a, a quick look, actually, to see how we, we stand here. So we've got 25 crystals, we know. We've got all our powers. The last one there, our running shoes. We've got 19 gems plus uh, our four of our five coloured gems. I do want to get the yellow one as soon as I can. And we've got our one sapphire relic, which came from uh, the token. Um, so the first thing we'll be looking to do here, folks, is we we'll be looking to get... Four, uh, well, another four relics uh, to make a total of five. And that will give us access to where we want to be going folks. Believe it or not. So, today, first thing we're going to be doing is I'm going to look to get hold of some relics from, uh, from uh, the medieval stage. Which well, shouldn't be too difficult to get hold of these. The sapphire relics are generally not that challenging. One or two of them can be a bit, uh, a bit of a tricky one. But, well, you know, we'll... Uh, We'll go and grab some if we can. So, as we know from previous times, folks, what we want to do is we want to get the clock. And it starts. So, what we're doing is we're going to be boosting everywhere. Obviously, or we only need to worry about um, the uh, boxes that give us time reductions. Like that. Valid tactic, you know, if you've got hold of um, uh, some aqua aqua protection, then you might, you know, there is nothing wrong with uh, with just, you know, just flying, you know, just barging away through some, uh, some, um, some parts. Fire away! Go, 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 go! Yes, just about. Not by a lot of time, but we got it. Which is the main thing. That's not too bad. Uh, C, S, H. Yeah, nah, I tell you what. Make a slight separate. Hee <laughs> Um, to be honest, actually, the, the ones that are like, you know, when you're on vehicles and that, or underwater, can be quite tricky. To be honest, getting the ones that are, uh, you know, um, on foot now should be a heck of a lot easier. Right. Next up, who oh, gets involved in the Orient Express. So, they shouldn't be, t shouldn't take too long for us to get these, truth be to honest. How do I start this video? Right. Here we go, then. 
Now, what you want to be looking to do uh, with these ones here is you want to stay as long as you can uh, on the boost. Because you can make up some... Ow. Some really, really big distance if you boost as much as you can. Still pretty tricky, mind you, of course, because when you're boosting pretty quickly, not always easy to, uh, you know, to dodge things like that. Whoop. Stay down. Ah, never mind. Oh, it's alright. We don't need to hit every time. Ow! Wow, I'm, I'm amazed! Fortunately, however, if you do fail while doing a time trial, you're not penalised any lives, folks. Which I find interesting. But, uh, well, it's just one of those things. survived and then I did fall down. Was, that was weird. Take it. I'm just going full pace here. Oh, there's a three second up there. Oh, buddy, this is some speed! Goodness sakes! No, I don't really want to be up here! Ah, oh, dear. <laughs> Quite a lot of fun, actually, just going those and just holding down the boost button and just going nuts. It's great fun. Enjoy that. I tell you what, you pick up some speed here. Massive jumps as well. Ouch, I'm out running them. That's amazing. Oh, I missed it, never mind. With like the one tier on the, the wall, I think could be a lot of fun actually. Just going at full blast this is great entertainment. But that's not bad. But yeah, the sapphire times definitely are generally pretty easy to get. Wow, it's that close to a gold relic. That almost warrants another try, but I'm. Um, right. right, next up's the Bonia. I'm really not concerned what type of relic I get. I, I really am not worried. Here we go. So now we've got the sprint shoot smokes. We're holding the R2 button. Which means you run a heck of a lot quicker, folks. It's basically designed for... Uh, it's basically designed for this, folks. Um, to be you for relic runs. With these, you should not be missing out on any sapphires. You really should not. Look at this, look at this head start I've got on our, on our uh, dinosaur here. So you just run through these at quick pace. Oh Should have grabbed that though. Invincibility! See, so you can take some damage. Oh, 
good stuff. shoes. These runs shouldn't be much of a problem. They really shouldn't be. Invincibility helps, I guess. So, straight gold relic. It's pretty damn good. What's the, what's the platinum time? Huh. That's strange. I thought there'd be a... Um, A, 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 a silver one. Huh? This commentator is not sure. This commentator has absolutely no idea, but uh, I'm going to carry on. That's strange. I don't know what that's about. Very strange. Right. Making waves! These can be quite a lot of fun actually, doing these on the time trials. Especially the early ones, because the early ones are a nice uh, straight line. Some of the later ones a little bit more complicated. In any event, whoa! Which is what it is we were hunting for. Lovely. So now that we've got hold of our five relics, well, now we should be able to get access to where we need to go. And you might wonder, well, what the heck is that? Well, the short answer is this. This was not here before. This will only appear once you've gotten hold of five relics, folks. Jump on it. It's a secret platform. And that will take us to here. A secret warp room, folks. I love this down the back as well. Look, look at that. You've got like um, the different kind of uh, baddies there. So you've got the mummy going to a tomb. You've got uh, like a, a medieval warrior going there. 
That's really cool. I think that is really, really cool, folks. But yeah, so uh, this is a, uh, a, uh, you know, a secret walkthrough. And here we'll have a party secret stages, folks. Now you notice, obviously, there's no crystals here. See, you've got here steam crystals for this one. Hang them high. Note how this is the same level as from earlier. Basically, this is the route you realistically need to take in order to get the yellow gem. You can get there other ways, it's very difficult, but we need to get ready to enter. This one requires 15, 20, and then finally 25 relics to enter. So we've got a little bit of work ahead of us to do, certainly. But I don't think it, it doesn't matter what type of relic you get, by the way, so we can take any kind of fancy. So, well, oh, should we have a little look at our uh, our first special area? Ah, come on, let's have a look. Except Coco told us to take this one, so okay then. So yeah, so these are five secret areas. Now, these can be separate levels like this, or they can be parts of levels already done we couldn't previously get into. So, I tell you what we're going to do, let's just go for it normally first and see what on earth the level is actually like. Might be an idea if I try and try and try something I don't even know what it looks like. Which could be a problem. Game. Game. You know, you know when I said, let's not try and try, that meant I want to get hold of my uh, freaking... Uh, I want to get hold of my, my uh, clear gem from the box, okay? Just so we got that cleared up. Do, 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 do. Really, game? You're going to make me do that? What's wrong with you? amazing. I've gone too fast for them. Huh. Normal. You didn't see that one coming, folks. You've obviously not been paying enough attention to this LP. Now I'm missing every box in the world. Oh, 
Mariana. Refocus, reevaluate. Was missing this time. Can't wait to have to do these with speed with speed runs. Oh boy. sharply onto it, but that was never going to work really, was it? Come on. No, I missed it again. Seems to happen a lot, you know, I'm running smooth and then, and then I make one error and then they just all creep in. Fine. That's why I didn't bother time trialing this. dangerous. Yes! Oh, <laughs> that is horrendous. Oh, that's all, that is ugly. That is truly ugly. Good job, Coco. Good job. I don't know where enough you went, but you went somewhere. Oh, goodness me, that's that's gonna be. Can't wait to do the speed run on that run! <laughs> right then, folks, I think that's probably where we're going to end this video, then, folks, I believe. Uh, so next time on Let's Play Crash Bandicoot Court, we're gonna be looking to unlock some more of these stages here in. Um, which means more speedruns. We'll see you then. <laughs>